I'm Madeline Sim and I'm talking about the bee farm today because we heard about the decreased population in bees and it's not a good thing so we really wanted to go to the farm to learn more about it. Uh, my name is Kate Fraser. I own and operate Bees Please Farms. I rent out bees and chickens throughout the city as a way to connect people with their food and a way to help people support bees without having to learn to be a beekeeper. How long have you owned the bee farm for? We've been here just over two and a half years. Approximately how many bees do you have on your farm? How about 400,000. <laughs> We've got about 35 hives right now. Why is bee farming rewarding to you? Rewarding because people really enjoy getting to be around the bees. Every year people say, oh, we've set up our chairs outside so we can watch them coming and going. And you can learn a lot about the health of the hive from what they're bringing in and how active they are and what's happening. So I find that really rewarding help. Those places where regular honey can't because it'll hold its shape so you can put it on a salad or on a grilled cheese or our favorite. So in a typical hive we see removable frames so the point of removing the frames is to be able to see what the bees are up to so this is obviously a bee list one that we're just looking at so here this is all capped honey so that's they would have filled that with honey and then they take the water and lessen the water content until it's about 16 or 17 percent water and then they cap it with wax and then that's what I sell is the honeycomb and that is good forever never spoils so that's neat so this is all raw wax that they draw out is to know a local beekeeper and support them buying honey because Beekeepers are the only way that honeybees are staying alive right now. So there are very, very few feral honeybee colonies in the world, if any, um, because, because of all the viruses and mites. So it's our job to help them through that. And you can help beekeepers by purchasing the honey or renting bees. <laughs> Otavio Bakery in Oak Bay and also people just email me or send me a message and I leave it at the gate in a cooler so primarily we do honeycomb so that's the one where it's in the wax which is really hard to find in the city and like I said it's because it takes different equipment than a usual standard commercial beekeeper would use so I literally cut out the honeycomb just from the frame just the way the bees have it and then it's full of extra pollen and it's got good health benefits you're eating the wax has good for your cholesterol digestive system lots of benefits so it's it's a really different feeling in your mouth too most people aren't used to having honeycomb but that was kind of the original way to have honey so it's neat to get back to that <laughs> 